thank you very much for your time. So I've got a bit of a grassroots presentation after all this wonderful technology. I'm technical manager with Cropmark Seeds based here in Canterbury. We're an R&D company developing forages um, with a particular focus on ryegrasses um, with a view of trying to improve the, the feed base and the on-farm on productivity for pastoral farmers, be that the dairy industry, sheep and beef, or, or in fact deer. So this afternoon's presentation is to talk to you about an exciting new development that's come out of our R&D program, where we've developed a, a completely new novel endophyte and also now have that coming to market through the pre-commercial stage in a completely new ryegrass germplasm. What we're aiming to do here is to bring a, a completely new ryegrass endophyte association to the market to be highly productive and palatable, particularly to have increased persistence, which is a perennial challenge, of course, for many farm environments, and most importantly, to improve animal safety with the new novel endophyte. We have a focus on all of the pastoral systems with, that might be using perennial ryegrass, in this case, as a forage base. A key part of the new technology that we're talking about today is the discovery of a completely new novel endophyte strain, a fungal endophyte which lives in symbiosis with the ryegrass. And that's been designated CM142, another imaginative name for you. And you can see it there growing out on an agar plate in our laboratory at Darfield. Now, this is a new endophyte that came out of the Margot Ford Centre in Palmerston North, and it was originally discovered in Greece in a very hot and arid climate, and it's very well suited for the environmental pressures that we're facing with global warming and to be associated with ryegrasses in New Zealand. And the reason that we're very interested in it is around its chemical profile. It produces epoxy genthrotrims at what appears to be just the right threshold levels to give really effective insect control. It doesn't produce any lolitrum B, which is the causative compound for staggers, and it doesn't produce any ergovalin, which is associated with heat stress. We're looking at an endophyte that's conveying great characteristics to our ryegrass uh, without the um, unpleasant negative side effects that have been associated with many other endophyte types. We've taken this and put this endophyte into many hundreds of different um, ryegrass strains that have been bred in New Zealand. And as I say, we're looking to combine a high yield with a high persistence to bring a, uh, a really good value proposition to our farmers. The grasses that we have uh, successfully inoculated with the CM142 have uh, late heading characteristics, high leaf to stem re ratios for quality, and are really transmitting the endophyte at an effective level for commercial launch. And through our pre-commercial evaluation stage, we have conducted a huge amount of uh, trialing work uh, across a wide range of different environments where we're looking for that genetic by environment interaction. In particular, our main trial sites have been in the Waikato in Canterbury and in Victoria in Australia. And that's enabled us to screen a large amount of germplasm associated with the CM142 and to select those that are elite in terms of their yield, their seasonality of production to fit with the pasture demands of farms, and very importantly, the persistence of yield over many years. Another component of our trialing system is graze trials. The former data has been coming from cut trials where we're getting accurate yields, but we've also ex extended that to on-farm graze trials, again with small plots, as you can see in the slide, where we've been able to confirm that we're getting effective insect resistance in the farm system environment, that we're getting improved plant survival relative to other cultivars, and that we have got a cultivar that has a high degree of grazing tolerance. Through all of this sort of pre-commercial evaluation, we're getting closer and closer to bringing this to market and have been at the stage now that we've got enough seed available to start considering some commercial evaluation on in-farm systems. The opportunity that we are offering through the Pilot Farm Network today is to partner with us to get some support from our regional agronomists and to put some of this pre-commercial grass into your farm system, be you operating a dairy system or sheep and beef. We're looking at making this available for autumn 24 sowing. And we would ideally like to monitor this perennial grass for at least three years, if not longer, in your farm system in the way that you would normally be managing your pastures 
to give both yourselves uh, and us uh, a greater level of knowledge and understanding of how it's actually performing in the real world across New Zealand. In terms of what the offer is today, we see this as being provided to a maximum of 25 farmers. And we're looking to provide it with a mix of white clover, as you would normally be sowing for a rye clover pasture. We're able to offer enough for five hectares per participant, and we're looking to provide a 50% discount on the um, typical retail price of a high-performing perennial ryegrass, um, such as this one. That's really what we have to offer at a, at a grassroots level, and um, be interested to, to hear any questions if there are any.